Sweet Fairy Tales. Tumbelina. So once upon a time, there was a once poor woman who lived alone in a small cottage in a village. She longed to have a child, so one day she visited a fairy to ask for help. You are a kind and good woman, said the fairy. So I will give you this magic seed. Plant it, water it, and you will see what you will see. The woman thanked the fairy. Thank you so much, fairy, and did as she was told. Soon a flower bud appeared with a glossy pink petal wrapped tightly around its center. What a beautiful flower you will be, smiled the woman. As she bent to kiss the flower, its petals unfolded and in the center was a beautiful girl the size of a thumb. The woman was overjoyed. Wow, I will call you Thumbelina, she cried and she laid her new child in a walnut chill bed with a rose petal quilt. Thumbelina and her mother were very happy. Then one day, while her mother was away, an ugly, slimy toad crawled into the cottage and took Thumbelina while she slept. Uh oh! And she's gone! Where is Thumbelina? She's and when she woke up, Thumbelina found herself on a lily pad in the middle of a stream with two warty toads staring at her. What? This is your new wife, Ribbit Ribbit, the mother toad told her warty son. But I don't want to marry a toad, Thumbelina sobbed. I just want to go home. I want to go to my mommy. You ungrateful girl, the mother toad scolded her. Ribbit, ribbit. You will stay here until you stop crying. And the toad swam away. Ribbit, ribbit. Thumbelina sobbed and sobbed until the fish took pity on her and nibbled through the lily spat stem. It floated free and Thumbelina sailed away. Gently floated downstream. At last, she drifted to the river bank and climbed onto dry land. All that summer, Thumbelina lived in the countryside. She missed her mother terribly, but she busied herself making friends with the birds and small creatures she met. That winter came, Thumbelina was cold and hungry. Luckily, a kindly field mouse invited her to stay with him in his burrow. She was so grateful that she said yes at once. Mm, life underground was warm and snug, but Thumbelina missed the sunshine. And then mouse friend Mole asked her to marry him. I don't want to marry a mole, cried Thumbelina. You ungrateful girl, said the mouse. Thumbelina sadly agreed to marry the mole. The date was set for the following summer. Thumbelina was miserable. Then one day, as she walked through the underground tunnel, she found a swallow almost dead with a cold. She hugged the bird against herself to warm him. Slowly opened his eyes. You have saved my life, said the swallow. Come with me to the south, to the land of sunshine and flowers. I cannot leave Mouse, sighed Thumbelina. He has been so kind to me. Then I must go alone, said the swallow. But I will return next summer. Goodbye. Then he flew away. Finally, the day Thumbelina had been dreading arrived. The day she would marry Mole, as she waited for Mole to arrive, the swallow appeared again. Hey, come with me, he cried. This time, Thumbelina said, Yes, I will come with you. So Thumbelina flew away to the south with the swallow, to a land of flowers. As she went to smell one specially beautiful flower, the petals opened and there in the center was a fairy prince. No bigger than a thumb, 
with a beautiful butterfly wings. Will you marry me? Will you be my wife? He asked at once. Yes, I will marry you, cried Thumbelina. And so Thumbelina married the fairy prince and became queen of the flower fairies. She did not forget her dear mother and arranged for fairy messengers to deliver a letter to her with a bouquet of beautiful flowers. Thumbelina and her handsome prince lived happily.